<laughs> oh my god, that was pathetic. When did you start reading the classifieds? Well, as soon as we started to look for an apartment because I got a job. So, when are you gonna get a job? I'm working on it. I have a few leads. Just, I have all these projects going on right now. Take up all my time. Like what? Nothing. Don't worry about it. I promise I'll get a job like by next week. God, that's truly pathetic. You were talking to him for so <laughs> long. I know, I still can't get over that his name was Seymour. <laughs> and he throws weekly yard sales with his creepy roommate. God, when you bought that record from him, he thought you were a saint. God, these are awfully expensive. I can't believe he has his own little bags. I thought I was gonna start crying. Yeah, he should just kill himself. We even both prefer 78s. Who would think a middle-aged man would like records? Fuck you, he's not that old. His Laurel and Hardy box set begs to differ. I don't know. I don't like him. Like, he's like the exact opposite of everything I truly hate. In a way, he's such a clueless dork that he's almost kind of cool. That guy has many things, but he's definitely not cool. Well, yeah, but you know what I mean. Not really. Forget it. I can't explain it. Heads up. Hey. Um, hey, look, so my band's playing here next Friday, and uh, I don't know, there's gonna be a bunch of cool bands and stuff playing, and you don't have to pay if uh, you have that flyer. So, uh, yeah, you should come check it out. So, which one's your band? <clears throat> um, Alien Autopsy. Bitchin'. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay, well, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll see you there. What a dork. You're just jealous! Yeah, right. Believe me, at this point, I am over the fact that every single guy likes you better than me. Casey, you just hate every single boy on the earth. That's not true. I just hate all these obnoxious, extroverted, semi-bohemian losers. <sighs> Let's get out of here. This place makes me sick. Well, we have to do something really fun tonight because it's my last week before I start my job. I know a party we could go to. What? Where? It's a surprise. I don't believe you. Okay. So if I promise you that there's really a party with a lot of guys there, you promise me you'll go? There's some records I'll pay serious money for. You can find it there in Serie V+. Other than that, I'd rather just prefer to have them on CD. Are you kidding? CDs will never have the presence of an original 78. I totally, totally hate you. Oh, come on, Becky. This is a fun party. <laughs> What's the story with the, the two cheerleaders over there? Would you believe they're Seymours? Seymour? You gotta be kidding me. Look, he's not getting any, and neither are you. Hey, let me tell you something, Joe. Listen to me. You can't hit a home run unless you swing the bat. Watch. Mind if I sit here? Yes. Whoa, that was pretty cold. Say, you're all right. You're, uh, you're pretty cool. You got a green dress, uh, red hair. You, I bet you're Irish. What's your name? Melora. Melora, what a great name. You seem like an interesting chick. So uh, let me tell you something. Why are you hanging out with a bunch of losers like these? What do you say you and I go and hit some night spots or something? I want to get a beer, I'll be right back. No, Enid, wait! But a place like no. There's no groove wear. Oh, please. It has an alert Santa hole and hair crack. But the, the crack is so tight, it's completely inaudible. A tight hair crack is just that, a crack. I don't collect crack records. I only pay premium for mint records, Seymour. You know that. Please. So, what was all that about? Enlarged holes and tight cracks? I, uh... 
I really didn't think someone of your age would be interested in this get-together. I mean, if you had told me that you were going to come over, I could have warned you. It's not like it's a party or anything. Well, you're right about that. So, this is your record collection? Oh, God, no. This is just junk I have for sale or trade. Record room is off limits. Really? Can I see it? Yeah. Sure, I mean, if you want to. I just don't want all these other guys in there at the same time. You know? We're leaving. <laughs> Sorry, we have an early open house tomorrow morning. Come on, Enid. Oh, come on, Becky. Just one minute. I'm tired of this. If you're going to act like a child, that's your fault. But I'm going to that open house tomorrow. You know, if you need to go... No, it's... she's just on her period. She'll get over it. Come on. I want to see your record collection. I have about 1,578s at this point, and I've tried to pare down my collection to the essentials. That rules. 